The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the Friday, the uh, fourth edition, uh, the 5th of April edition, and uh, we're going to do some technical analysis. The Dow is up 121. Um, we were looking at this inside check. This is a technique that I've used for a very long time and uh, actually forever um, because I used to hand chart with pencil and ruler. So I used to be drawing the lines. I was always fascinated by drawing lines and to find that sometimes the price had moved in a completely different way. But because it was engineered paper, engineering paper, I would be looking at this and then out of the blue, I would say, what's this line? I'd follow the line and went all the way back to maybe a year ago, and it was still pertinent because the price came back to the line. So it's always fascinated me. So what I was looking at, this inside, I call this inside track. Many people know about channels. For a long time, I've been drawing what I call the inside track within the channel on the up, or even just a trend line. If you can draw a very narrow parallel um, two lines, Remember, parallel lines make a channel. Um, you can see how the price reacts and acts as it gets there. And each time it's got there, look how it's been repelled. And when it went there the last time um, with this double top, that was the high of the 21st. Let me put it on this side here. The 21st of March at 39,889. And then pull back. Uh, as it was pulling back, we I went, we've got long-term longs very long-term longs, not prepared to touch those. On a short-term basis, what we did is we went short the Dow via the DOG. Now, what happened was you made a double top, and that double top in the Chapman methodology, you try to identify the lowest bar, count each successively higher peak, alphabetize them A, B, C, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but it's that fourth highest peak at peak D where other things can happen. But if it doesn't get there and it's everything about the technical say, just the price missed it by going to a leg D by a fraction. Mm -hmm. And the technicals actually gave you a, a, a sign of a pullback that I call that a peak C1, C2. And I consider that to be as good as a sell signal or as good as, as a signal that could become a sell signal. So we watched this closely. And then what I was talking about, and I'll go to it right now, this is gonna be technical Friday. What we've been looking at is the nine period moving average cross positive back on the 3rd of November of 2023. Regardless of all the pullbacks, and we've played the, the pullbacks with the, the DOG every once in a while, we've got the sideways move, it didn't break down, the nine period moving held. Only yesterday at the close did that nine period moving average go pink. First time, I mean, what an indicator, right? You're going positive, and you could have gone away. I mean, who knew, of course. You could have gone away for months on a, on a world cruise or something like that. Come back to yesterday and say, oh, pink. I've got to be careful. I can, I've can. i got to get out of some or whatever it is. But that's the that's the Dow. Look, the S&P hinted, 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 still hasn't turned pink. And the S&P is right now up 27 to 51.74. The QQQ. Hinted, 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 and it did turn pink. So since the 9th of, um, was it? No, since the 3rd of November, green, 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 it had one day of negative action where it went pink and then went right back to green. Isn't this fascinating? All right, let's get back to our story over here and say, so this move down took out. Now, the another technical indicator that I talk about in, in, uh, in my webinars that are on uh on these different techniques and why if you're a subscriber, you know all about them. If you're not, you can become a subscriber. Go to all my webinars on these different techniques and you get my newsletter for a month. If you don't like it, you can cancel a money back guarantee. But what's really important is, is this inside track in the, in the upper channel, the lower part was taken out. It held for three days, almost three, 
most of yesterday was all there and whoosh, it came tumbling down. Well, I've got this as a weekly chart, only a peak C, and the 9 is way above the 14. The MACD just turned negative. Stochastic is at 83%, still good. On balance, one, the blue line is turned negative. And I'm saying that that's just telling me, and I say to subscribers when I do my overview video, uh, I'll do it after the close today. I've been lately, I've been doing it on a Friday. It's just worked out better for me as I'm away the weekends. But I'll be here, but I, I decide I will do it today. Um, one of the things we're looking at is how, how will I interpret whether this is a one off a smash to the downside, and now we're going to have a rally that's going to fill in most of the, the down move and then turn down and then still not take out uh, yesterday's low? How do you decipher that? But it's the way I'm going to be interpreting the aperture, the distance between the nine period moving average now under the 14 period moving average. And if it's more than a day or two, if it gets to about three, four days, then I suspect that we're going to see a deeper pullback. But at this particular point, because it's only the down the QQQ, it's not the S&P the, um, or the SMHs are really important. The SMHs are still holding pretty well up 195 at 221.84. Um, hasn't turned pink. And it did that one day back in was that January, yeah, January the 8th, uh, 5th and 8th. And then it went back to green. But since the move to the upside on the 3rd of November, uh, this night period moving average has only briefly, for a day or two, gone pink. So I'm going to be watching that. All right, let's get back to our story, Technical Friday. <clears throat> I'm anticipating that there's going to be some buying, and that's why I say to subscribers, we're not doing anything. We're putting in some stops um, for our long positions. Uh, we're looking to buy certain stocks and certain sectors on a pullback. <clears throat> we, we've got patience. We'll be doing that. Now, what's really important about this uh, Dow is that the MACDs turned down the, on -down, the relative strength has really weakened a lot. The stochastics down at 33 percent. The the um, blue on balance volume is pulling back. So even and now you've got the nine period. So all the technicals are giving you a sell signal upgraded at the close yesterday to a sell mode. All right, that's that. Now let's go to the S and P on a purely technical basis. Um, will I interrupt myself and then come back to this? No, I won't interrupt myself. So two two sixty one ten was the high over here around about the 19th or 20th of last month. And then right here on the 28th of March, it goes to 264.85. But the technicals were starting to falter. But that sharp move down yesterday is being met with buying here. And it's just touching the inside, oops, the inside track, propellant zone. Uh, so it's going to be a repellent zone. Uh, very soon, especially if that turns pink, but it hasn't yet. So the upside has a lot of resistance in the 5190s. And absolutely, if yesterday's, if we close below yesterday's low of uh, 5146.06, that's a problem. I also want to talk about round numbers. Can you believe that Meta, 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 hit a 530 round number all time high yesterday? Google, all-time round number high of 157 yesterday. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. In the den, absolutely fascinating article Mr. Bill put in about um, the about quakes and certainly the quake in Taiwan. Uranus was involved in large quakes on this one. Moon is uh, trying Uranus which is being conjoined by Jupiter. Oh, this is fascinating stuff. Um, yeah, so let me just show you, talking about a magnet. Look at this magnet line of the 200-period exponential moving average in the 10-minute E-mini. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close for days. And then suddenly it hits once, hits twice, and then makes the uh, 5231 level in the E-mini on the 10-minute chart really important either as a repellent line a magnet line or a propellant line. Right now, it's acting more like a like a magnet line. It, the further it pushes away, if it goes at five two two four right now, if it goes to five two one six, that's probably going to be a repellent line. It'll be tough to get there again, and that's also the two hundred period moving average support of the daily. So the further away it pushes to the upside, maybe five fifty two forty two. Maybe later today, who knows? Uh, that's getting away from it, and that'll be very positive. All right, let's get on. So we're looking at, uh, I mentioned as we were going to the break, can you believe around 157.00 on Google? I, I always use Google. I don't use the G-O-G-L, which is the trading vehicles, the alphabet C shares, search engine. Um, that's on the 1st of April. April Fool hits a... 157.00 round number, and today's low was 151. Big deal, it's only six points, but isn't that interesting? And the nine is still way over the 14, so this is a work in progress. So far, that doesn't look like it's pulling back, um, and it's a leg D in the, in the weekly. Let's go to, uh, what was I saying before? Meta. We had 530, round number high um, yesterday. Trading right now at 524.32 and it hit 514 as a low. Um, and the weekly chart, I've got it as a G right now. I really think I can consider with that instant restart, it could be a G slash C. And this is the reason why I'm saying 
not why I didn't want to suddenly say, oh, okay, now we're going to heavily short. There's a lot going on. And I don't. I think there's still residual strength. Um, I think it's a work in progress. It's it's something that's unfolding, and unfolding means that you don't get other than this mini waterfall cascade um, that can repair itself, but it's going to take a while. In the meantime, we have to see where we close today, and I wanted to do something else. So let's think about that. So I wrote down. <clears throat> I'm going to do this for subscribers to my uh, overview uh, weekly weekend video that I, I, I give. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it. But, I mean, even Workday, I mean, just you can go all over the show. Look at this. Workday had a 308 round number open, goes to an all-time high the same day. That's uh, what around about the 26th, was it, twenty. 26th of February, and then has a high of 311.28 that day, gaps down the next day, and that's it. It's at 266. So I've been talking about round numbers for a long time, and I said I've never seen this number. It just goes on. I mean, NVIDIA, where's NVIDIA today? Up 13 at 872. Uh, and the 9-period moving average is, this is the daily. So I have to say, all I can say is this, at 1022, a.m. Eastern Time on Friday the fourth, uh, 5th of uh, April, the 9 period moving average has gone pink. But within five minutes, it could go back to green. So I'm just saying this is telling me that I think I'm being correct in saying that the semiconductors in a, in a digestive phase, I have to first of all call it digestive, is that, that double top. 974 round number all time all time high on the third of August. This is now uh, third of August. No, that comes third of. What did I just do? Oh, I wrote it backwards. I wrote it in the old English style. Uh, three eight, and I put a three. And I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, it was just uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, three eight, <laughs> three eight. Um, so on the eighth of eighth of March. You make an all-time high of 974.00, pulls back to about 850-ish, runs up to just under 8, 974, makes this cup formation. And remember, I like to do this. I do the, I do the left side to the right side peak, and I say what's positive, what's negative. The 9 period moving average is way positive at that particular point. The MACD deflects lower. The, the unbalanced volume makes a new high and then turns down. The stochastic makes a high, but a way lower high. Uh, the relative strength is starting to fail. And lo and behold, what do we get? <clears throat> we get NVIDIA in this digestive phase. It's more than that. It actually, I have to wait for the close today, but so far I can call it a sell signal. It hasn't upgraded to a sell mode, but I think it will. Peak F could be an alternate cap, but I'm calling it a peak F in the uh, weekly chart. And only a peak, a leg C, in the monthly. So looking out, it's still very positive. I mean, you can just go on STZ. We get all over the show. Look, STZ <clears throat> is the uh, Constellation Brands. Makes a 273 round number, uh, not an all time high. <clears throat> mm, wait a minute. No, 273.65 was the high back in 2023. Makes a beautiful cup formation. Then comes back and goes to 273 round number on 29th of March. And now it's a 262, pulling back. A Berkshire Hathaway, BRK dot B. Berkshire Hathaway, all-time high, round number 430 on the, and a 422 round number open. And that was on the, around about the 26th of Feb. And here it is, it went to a leg E yesterday, making a peak E. Still not too bad. I mean, it's making higher highs from the low that it had at the 399 level. And here it is. <laughs> Uh, having a very good rally to the four, you know, four uh, four twenty six ish area, and now what is it? It's at four fifteen. Um, Berkshire Hathaway. All right, so let's get back to our story. Q Q Q. The NDX one hundred trading vehicle. This is the Invesco Q Q Q Trust series. Made a four forty nine point thirty four high. It went into the chamber wave inside wedge, inside track repellent zone, got repelled, and now it's testing 
I haven't made it two lines. I'll do that right now. This is to be red. This is a parallel with that, right? So here we go, make it red, make it pink. Pink stands out a little bit better against the uh, red bars that are negative. There you go. And we make that green. And look what we've got. We're testing, testing, testing. It looks like it's going to break it. Looks like the Qs want to go down to the low 430s. So this is very important. And today, when you think of the smash yesterday, so far the action's kind of pathetic, isn't it? Um, yeah, so my questions are, let's see. Yeah, jobs, jobs, and gold. We'll get to gold in a moment. So what I want you to do is the IWM. So the QQQs have already given a sell signal, probably upgraded by the end of the day to a sell mode. And they've turned the 9 period moving average turn pink. Back to these weeks, the cast is very weak. Home balance run is weak. Rent of strength is weak. The only thing holding up was at 9.14, and now that's gone. And it's a PD in the weekly chart. Now, this is something I have to consider. Is this going to be a pullback together? I'll talk about that when I return. Down up uh, 82 SEPs at 20. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keck Stack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I um, completely forgot to tell subscribers that my Chairman Wave Shin Index, you know, I've got all these this myriad of technical tools that I've developed over the years. Most of them are proprietary in the sense that I, I develop them, but I talk about them publicly. <clears throat> the only thing I don't talk about ever is the number that I look at for the Chamber Wave Trend Gauge. If it's below a certain number, it means that the very next day the Dow should go negative no matter how much the future's out beforehand. And if the uh, Trend Gauge, and this is Richard Arms Gauge, I use, the only thing I use is the numbers. It doesn't matter how it's calculated or anything like that, it's just the numbers. And if it's over a certain level, it says that the futures, the very next session, that night or the next session, will be up, and that'll help the market. And that's exactly what we had. We had it up yesterday. It wasn't overbought. It was just up over a certain number. The reason why I don't give out the number is I believe, just like my um, VIX, uh, the way I've looked at the VIX over the years, there's going to be a change to the numbers. It just it, It's inevitable that at some point it'll happen. It hasn't happened yet. But it, well, I don't want to be stuck saying, well, that was it, and then it's changed the numbers. Uh, I just say it's over, it, it's high or it's low. Now, let's just go back to what we're looking at here. Oh, and this is what I show my subscribers every day. This is a Chapman, so that you can follow the actual technique of the Chapman Wave methodology. So I use this technique. Remember, I was talking about the peak C1, C2. That's what gave the cell signal right then. Now, have a look at this. This is fascinating. Look. Peak G slash C, that became a C1, C2 in the one minute chart. And look how we pull back to the 200 period moving average. This is a peak C1, C2 in the five minute chart, but that nine is so strong that it's saying that there's still buying pressure. Remember we are speaking about the 200 period moving average magnet in the uh, 10 minute chart E-mini? Well, look at this, it's trying to get back to the 52.31 level. Isn't that fascinating, huh? All right, let's get back to what we were talking about in terms of uh, all these different techniques. So this is called the Chapman Wave Falling Axe Technique, where you can make lower highs and much lower lows. And then if you break the trend line, the upper declining trend line, you, you just look at the left side peaks to see which one can be taken out one at a time. We failed yesterday. We couldn't get above it. That's the QQQs. And as I say, the 9 p moving average flipped negative. So tonight I'm going to be talking about when I do my um, video, overview video, my weekly video for subscribers to my opening call. I'm going to be talking about the different techniques that we will use on the daily charts to tell us just how deep any correction could be, what we would be looking at, what would be the signs, what would be the signals, what would be the moving averages or whatever it is that's going to take us, give us a sense of depth and time. We haven't got there yet. So let's go on. We want to go. So the IWM, as I said, the IWM is bouncing. Didn't act all that great, but the 9 period moving average has not turned negative. It's trading up 23 cents at 204.00. Round number right there. Um, and I've just got this huge list. You wouldn't even believe how many stocks um, made either the day they made a high. Either there was an open with a round number or the high was the actual all time high was round number. It's just quite incredible. So here we are with the IWF. Now let's go on to gold. And this is going to be, oh, now gold has moved up 30. Now I can, I can, I can follow through what, with what I've been saying for a little while now. It didn't seem like it was going to happen. And you can see this if I go to the, let's go to Raytheon. <clears throat> which is up today, which is a stock I was about to add to for subscribers to my opening call. It could still be early for this. This is Raytheon because Raytheon, Israel uses a Raytheon defense system, uh, the uh, Iron Dome. And uh, within that context, I, with you remember the defense stocks, not defensive like uh, uh, General Mills or uh, you know Procter & Gamble. This is defense. This is the military. I was looking at it and I said, that initial move from the August low 
uh, from from the from from the October seventh massacre um, in Israel had gold moving up kind of reluctantly, and then it did move up, and the, and the, even the you can see right here, let's go to October. But even here, October, there was a sudden pop to the upside, and then it kind of stalled right here, and then it gapped up, and then started to move higher. And I'm saying to myself, is that telling us about the type of warfare? Well, in a sense, it was. But what's really important now, the reason why I think gold is held, even though the dollar, the dollar is is rallying. So normally you get this counterpoint, the Bach counterpoint, where one melody goes up, the other one goes down, and then they reverse. No, you're not getting that right now. You're getting so, uh, uh, parallel moves to the upside. So that just tells me that the what's going on in the Middle East is going to be, it's going to become extremely political. And that's the reason why I think gold, and that's why countries have been buying gold because they can see something going on here and could even include Ukraine. I don't know. I, I'm just looking at the price of gold. Look at this. This It should have had a normal pullback. It has had no normal pullbacks, really. It's just walked this nine-period exponential moving average. It looks absolutely terrific. There's the, there's the weekly, and I said once the weekly broke away from the inside track repellent zone, that makes this whole area of 21, 2200 to 20... I'd say 2,200 to 20, 2,130, very strong support. And the monthly chart has gone uh, to a new all-time high. This is telling me that something else is going on. If you look at silver, it's kind of been dragged higher. Yeah, it's acting very nicely. But uh, the gold was really leading it. Now, this to me says that and crude oil moving up. I mean, that's part of this whole Middle East thing. So... You've got up 31 cents today at 86.91. That's just telling us that um, there is a possibility here that the whole area of the Middle East could, in fact, turn into something that lasts a lot longer and becomes much more potent over a period of time. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. But that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. All right, and, and that tells you that the EUR, and this is really, look, the EUR is just stuck in the lower range at the 200 period moving average of the uh, daily chart, way under the 200 period moving average of the weekly, and the monthly looks kind of so-so. This euro, if gold's going up, euro should be going up as well because the dollar should be falling back. If you look at the USDJPY, there we go. Holding up in the upper end, it's not breaking out, but it's certainly holding very well at 151.50. And the IMP moving average is way above the 40. Good action, right? I'll be back. The Dow's up 134, SP's up 32, Basil Trap and Tiger Admissions Hour. Now I can get to questions that came my way. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information in one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hello, so we're back, and I'm looking at so what do you want you to know about you this afternoon? Oh, by Mr. Lowe. Your objective in the Chapman Wave is to be as faithful to the peaks and troughs as possible. You miss one, you could get the wrong count, and that could really put you off. This is in leg E, making a peak E today, 95.67. We're looking at 3M. There was a spin-off or something, so the chart completely looks different. I have to do all the notations over because it's not automated. Every chart you ever see that I show with notation, that's my hand notation. I do it very quickly. I find that it's a little better than automation. Automation skips little subtleties. Uh, and that's something that's going to make a difference. So uh, Triple M made an all-time high. This is pre-split. Uh, Post-split, it was 208.75 back in May of 2021. <clears throat> now, was that the high? Maybe it wasn't. All right, so the question is, let me just get to this. So, oh, for January, for the month of January, January of 2018, it goes to 217.19. This is now post uh, split. Oh, oh, uh, this is the this is the chart as it stands right now, and it's trading at 90.38. So the daily chart I've managed to do that. It's gone peak A right here as your starting point. Remember the objective is to pick the lowest low, and that's where the count starts. There it is. The bar that makes the low. If it makes a high, it can't be a high. You have to wait for a trough to be formed before before you can start the count. So this is peak A, B, C, D. This is leg E as we speak at 95.67. Um, so, hi, Basil. Can you give me an analysis on triple M, 3M? I have a leap call option strike price 100. A leap call option strike price 100. I bought at the beginning of March. I'm already in profit. Thanks, Willie. So, uh, Willie, you didn't say, um, so this is, how it must have a strike price, but that's not a strike date. So I'm just thinking it's quite a, quite far out. I like I like what you've done. I'm going to suggest this. This is on my list as former leaders that got smashed and now are in recovery mode. I'm putting triple M in that. And then there were lawsuits. There were a whole bunch of things that went on. It's got a leg D in the weekly chart, very long leg at doji. But the, the monthly chart has started a new leg B. And this, once the nine period moving average starts to turn up, it's usually a good sign. That's all it is. It's not a good sign. Just say, oh, that's fantastic. Now it just says it's a good sign. Once the histogram in the MACD starts to cross positive, across the zero line, that's positive. Once the stochastic gets off the single digits, preferably if it's there, then goes to the, the teens and then to the 20s, that's very positive. Well, it's at 34.71. 
the unbalanced volume is lagging a lot. I don't like that. It's the same thing in the weekly chart. So I'm going to suggest to you, you're looking out. That's why you've got a leap. <clears throat> I'm going to suggest to you, you hold on to it. Any pullback that we see, the 85 is the 200 period exponential moving average. Yep, it's five points down from where it is right now. 95 or 67 was the most recent high yesterday. <clears throat> That's a big chunk, $10, that's about a 10% uh, risk. But I'm going to say, hold on, I, li I like the fact that this fits into the category of PAVE, although I don't think it's in PAVE, and that is infrastructure. For some reason, there's enough in, in Triple M that I can think of it more as um, an economic bellwether. So PAVE, Global U.S. Infrastructure and Development ETF, I I'm not sure if, if it is there, but it to me, just has always fitted that category. Uh, it made a pave made a 48 round number high yesterday. I mean, I just it's beyond belief. It, it, this is what I call I don't know if it's going to be hubris or what, but this is fear of missing out. So you put it in a bid and you say, I just want it, I want it at 48. And that's an all-time high. 48 is trading right now, just a little lower, 39.52. That's paved. So let's go back to triple M. And the answer is, yes, I like it. I'll give you the parameters to look for, and I'll give you the time that I'm looking at. Parameters are that um, right here. So in this particular pattern, oh, I wish it wasn't so messy here in the weekly chart, just kind of putting me off. There's there's this high that was made and broken above, and that's the high of right here. That was August, I think. No, that was July, the week of the 28th of 2023, and 94.59. It made a cup formation, but really a V, and then another cup, but really a V. Second one in a shorter time frame. It's popped above it, but it's not closing above it. I'm going to say to you, looking out to July, this is now April. May, June, July. Looking at the, about the first to the second week of July, and the reason why I say July is I need time for the nine period moving average in the weekly chart, uh, sorry, the monthly chart to get close to crossing positive. And it's only going to do that if on a weekly basis you can see Triple M close above 102. I would say in a two week period, no, sorry, a three week period. At least two of those weeks, I'd like to see it close above 100, and that's going to really help looking out. Otherwise, it gets stuck. It goes down to the 87 and the 85 level. I suspect that should be the low, at least in the shorter term, and that's kind of, it gets stuck sideways. It takes a while, it makes a higher cup formation, and then it makes the U shape. Let's look at it later on. I'm just saying I like, your, I like the fact that you've got a leap. The leap is like a... Uh, like an option, a much lower priced option. And I like that idea. So, and it, it fits in the category of this very slow cup formation right here. Look, look at this. There we are. Cup formation that says, I can even do you a left side, right side price tie match. I'll do that. Why don't we do a technical Friday? Let's just do that. So I'm taking left side to make a, a wedge. And all I'm doing is I'm going to the, the next highs from the low that was made. Then I decide on the left, where would the resistance be? I'm going to go to the top of this candle right here. So this is a Chapman Wave Roman candle, inverted red one. Usually on the way down, it says you've got to be careful. And I'm going from here to there. I'll explain it all as I'm moving along. <clears throat> I'm going to go left side, right side, price match. This is my plumb line right there. The plumb line is the low of 71.35, made in October of 2023. And I'm going to say, based on this, oh, the right side is green, so the other one has to be changed right there. And it's interesting, I think I drew this way before. I didn't do that today. I drew this as a, a plumb line because I've been looking at Triple M for some time as a longer term buy and hold for 2024. So as I'm looking at this, I'm saying buy, that's a little extended. That's is June. 
I would even say May. No, I'm going to say June. June, the target for me would be uh, the high of this bar. It's not a cup, proper cup formation. I'm choosing a particular high, which is 101.04. That fits everything I'm talking about. And now I can lower this and say that is my target line. So I'll type in triple M to Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, so let me just do this um, in the brief moment we've got here. Look, the one minute chart is just gone from exactly right on the 200 period exponential moving average to peak A, peak D, peak C. What's your objective is to get to from a buy signal to a buy matter to at least a D. There's your peak D. The five minute chart, walking the five minute uh, moving average, uh, walking the um, nine period moving average, went to a leg D. The 10 minute is only, look at, use this as a magnet. I said the more times you test it, it becomes a magnet. Then you start to look at the upside. Now, the further away we push, it's at 6241, only in leg C. Uh, if anyone's using this, let me know at Basil Chapman at tfnn.com over the weekend whether you were able to use this because look that nine period moving average says we should still get to a d in the 10 minute chart doesn't matter how long it takes but that's the objective so that, that's the first thing and the other is the reason why i didn't want to pack in with a whole bunch of uh cells cells today is be, and rather we're looking more at buys is because <clears throat> this is a work in progress 
Look how long it took the 9 p.m. moving average for the Dow and the Qs to turn down, and they haven't yet really confirmed. They only just turned down the last time they were down for a day. This is a work in progress to see whether or not the selling pressure continues. Then you want the S&P to see the 9 p.m. moving average go negative, and you want the SMHs. Absolutely, the semiconductors have to do that. Otherwise, this is not going to work as any sell signal that gets up, upgraded to a sell mode, meaning we should anticipate more selling. So with that said, and then a question came in about uh, GDX. Yep, the GDX is trading very nicely. It's still in leg D uh, above the resistance level, and that makes the support of 3368 right now. That makes the whole area of 31 to 30 very important support in the uh, GDX. Still got a long way to go for the monthly chart. Uh, Chamber Inside Track Repellent Zone in the 36s to be hit. So have a wonderful rest of the weekend and uh, stay tuned for Steve and all the great programming here. I will see you on Monday. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you soon.